Welcome back to my workshop. Now today we've got a project on the go. Uh, it's a metalwork project, nothing to do with wood at all. And the project is going to cover using my welder. Now I've just bought some of these, which is some flux cord welding wire from Lidl's. Very cheap. Um, and I'm going to use that in this welder here. Uh, and I've got to fix this railing yeah it's quite a long railing oh it is quite a long railing i've got to fit that back onto my wall let me show you where that is right so i'm outside here it's uh just about to rain all right this gap here that's where it's got to go and the reason i got there is because this pillar used to be over here and i moved it so what's happened is obviously the railing's too long. So what I've got to do is chop it off at that end and chop it off at that end. Uh, but the problem is it's got this kink here. Okay, so I've got to take that into account. All right, so what I'll do is I'll start chopping this, measure it up, chop it up, uh, and then we'll use our welding wire uh, in my Clark welder to see if it actually works. Alright, so I just chopped this bit off and this bit off, uh, off of the pointy end. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go and line this up with the wall and see where I've got to chop the other end off. All right, so now I've got it fitted on the wall. Uh, I've got it clamped with some mold grips. Uh, let me show you the prep I've done. Okay, so I've got it mounted in place here, uh, just held together with some mold grips. I've cleaned up these edges. Uh, a bit of a gap on the top one here. Uh, not so much on the bottom here. I've done a little angle here so I can put some weld in there. Uh, on the other end, I've had to drill a hole in the wall here that this goes in. And then this is going to butt up like this. And I'm going to try and get some weld in there. Okay, so let's get back in the workshop. Right, so the whole purpose of this video um, was to see if this flux cord welding wire from Lidl's is any good and can I use it in one of these which is a Clark MIG 105 EN now I've had this quite a few years uh, I haven't used it for about five years um, and obviously I, I run out of wire okay so didn't bother buying any more put this in a cupboard but now I've got to use it so I've dug it out uh, now these were £3.99 each, uh, I think there's about 100 metres on each of these, which is quite a lot. Um, so I decided to buy three, uh, and then the kind lady said, oh, if you buy two, that's £6. So it's quite a saving, so I ended up buying four. Anyway, I did all that lot. Uh, I bought, bought some 0.9 and some 1 mil. So this is a 0.9, green label. This is the 1 mil, which is the red label. Okay, I'm going to see if I can fit it in here. Uh, now, in theory, it shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, the original spool sits on here and the wire feeds through and goes to the gun. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go for the point 0.9 uh, and hopefully that'll be okay. Looks like the hole's similar. Let's do a first check. See if this doesn't fit. I've got to unwind it off of here and wind it onto here. Happy days. Right, I think this stuff is designed for the use with the Parkside uh, gasless welder, which I don't have. Um, 
but let's see how this goes. The wire has got a little bit of a kink in the end where it's fed into itself to stop it unraveling. Uh, so I'm just going to nip that off with a pair of psychos so I can then get it through here. Let's see how well that works. So through the guide. Oh, it's a bit springy. Right, okay, so I should imagine now I have to power it through. Uh, so let me let me plug the welder in. Okay, right, so I've just powered up the machine by plugging it in. Uh, now to get the wire through, I haven't got it through yet, but I'm gonna try. Uh, obviously, make sure the feed direction is going this way. Yeah, so up here and into here. Feed it through this first tube. Unlock this little locking knob here. Swing that down. And then you can lift this wheel. It's a little bearing. Move that out of the way. Then feed the wire through into the actual cable itself. So there's a, a cable that goes all the way through this hose. Okay. Feed it as far as you can. Then close that down. Lock that in place, not too tight, just lock it so there's some tension on it. Uh, and in theory, <laughs> when I push this, it should feed the cable in. So let's see what happens. Okay, I've got it turned on, but I've got it turned down. I'm not earthed on anything, so um, should be good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the nozzle off. Okay. So in theory, it's got to pass through this little teeny tiny nozzle. Uh, but I'll give you a fighting chance by pushing it through here. Okay, so it's sort of pulling it through. Oh look, it's, no, it's working. I've just turned the wire feed up a little bit. Uh, so hopefully any time now, this should be coming through here. Much faster. Oh, here we go. Ta -da. Okay, then we can put our nozzle on. Now this is a one mil nozzle. Screw that in, don't cross thread it because that would be stupid. Okay, make sure your shield is clear. Put that back on. That's on. We're ready to weld. I'm not a welder, um, but it's it's worked. Look, it's done really well. Quite a lot of penetration there. Obviously, I'm not going to show you what it was like before I cleaned it off, but yeah, pleased with that. There's that side, and then this bit here. Yeah, well, that seems to work. Yeah, blimey. Right, so that's it. It's a job that I've been trying to do for the last eight years. Um, and the question was, can I use this Parkside flux cord 
welding wire in my Clark 105 EN MIG welder? And the answer is yes. Uh, does it work? Yes, it does. Uh, does it work well? Yes, it does. Okay, so don't think that you're stuck to just getting your uh, your welding wire from one place. Um, these, as I say, end up being three quid each, and each of these is 100 meters long, which is quite a lot of welding. Uh, I'm not a welder, as you could see from, from the video, uh, but I needed to hold the gate in place or the fence in place. That's going to last as long as as long as the fence is there. So I'm happy with that. This has only cost me a few quid. I've got the fence finished. Happy days. Uh, now the welding mask. Now I only bought that today. That is a SIP welding mask. I think I'm going to do a review on that one because that is excellent. All right. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Turn it on first. Tumpty tumpty tum. Right, I'll carry on doing this. I'll be back to you in a minute. Right. Ah, oh, I've put them back to the front.